In this video, we solve problem 8.1.22 from Essentials of Statistics, sixth edition by Mario Triola. The problem statement says the test statistic of z equals negative 2.11 or 2.11 is obtained when testing the claim that p is less than 0 0.87. In part A, we're asked to use a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.10 to find the critical values of z. And then we're asked whether we should reject the null or fail to reject the null. So um, let's do that. Um, first, um, we will, I'm going to show you my piece of paper and then we'll talk through um, how we find the critical values. Okay, so we're here. And um, in order to do that, the first thing that I would do is I would um, state my claim. My claim is that P population proportion is less than uh, 0 0.87 and that does not contain the condition of equality. So I will write another hypothesis that does contain the condition of equality. The one that contains equality, that's our null. And in this case, the alternative hypothesis is, is the claim. Okay, so we want to use a significance level of alpha equals uh, 0 0.10 to find the critical value. Now, since our alternative hypothesis involves a um, less than sign, um, whenever we draw that sampling distribution of the sample proportions, Um, it's going to look approximately normal. It's gonna have that bell-shaped distribution. And the mean of the sample proportions is going to be um, equal to P, that's the population proportion. And we're assuming that the population proportion is 0 0.87. So that's our null hypothesis. Um, now, because that our claim is that the true population proportion is less than 0.87, um, we want to have the left tail shaded here. Um, so this is a left tailed test. So that inequality sign always points in the direction of that critical region and the critical region is over here. Now, because if it was a not equal sign, we'd have alpha split into two tails if it's a less than sign, we're talking about a left tailed test. If it's a greater than sign, um, the arrow would sort of point to the right and we'd have a right tailed test. Um, so this is what we're looking at. We've got a sampling distribution of sample proportions. Um, we're assuming that the mean is equal to the population proportion, which it is. Um, and in this case, we're assuming that that population proportion is 0 0.87. That's what we assume every time we do a hypothesis test. Now, our critical region um, separates um, an area of alpha from the rest of the area. So if it's a left tail test, this um, region has area equal to alpha. And then this region over here would have the complement of that. So if that's 10%, this is going to be 90%. And the question is, well, what is the critical value? associated with that. So what is this um, value right here? Now, for a sampling distribution of sample proportions, we're always going to compute that um, critical value as a z-score. Um, so let's look at our table of z-scores to find the z-score that separates that bottom 10% of the area from that top 90% of the area. In order to do that, I will share my screen with you. Oops. A lot of stuff on my desktop right now. Oops, I guess it's not here. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so I want the area to the left to be 10%. And I know that that is less than 50%. So I'm looking for a negative Z score. And I'm the area is 10% and I'm looking for the Z score. So I need 10% or 0 0.10 in the body of the table. Looking for as close as I can get to 0 0.10. Do you see it? There we go. I've got 0 0.102 here and 0, 0. Oh, actually that's 1%, not 10%. Let's erase that. Looking for 10%. Oh, I see it. I see the two closest values. So that's very close to 10%, and then that's very close to 10%. Now this one is off by 0 0.0003, and this one is off by 0 0.0015. Um, so this one's definitely closer, and we want the z-score that's associated with that. So I want the z-score associated with that entry in the table. So it's negative 1.2, and this column gives us a tenths place for that z-score of eight. So this, this z equals negative 1.28 approximately. So our critical z-value is negative 1.28. Okay, now let's go back to our homework. We only have one critical Z value um, because it's a one-tailed test. It's a left-tailed test and it's a negative value because it's on the left. All right, great. And then uh, part B says, choose the correct conclusion below. Now let's go back to our picture. We're trying to decide whether to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. And the way we decide that is we look at um, the value of that test statistic, z equals negative uh, 2.11, and see where that stands relative to this critical z value. That's one way of doing that. Well, if z is equal to negative um, 2.11, that's way out here in the tail. So the test statistic is negative 2.11. So if this test statistic is in the critical region, we're going to say that that test statistic in this case um, is significantly low. And if the test statistic is significantly low, that means we're going to fail, or sorry, excuse me, we're not going to fail to reject the null. We're going to reject the null hypothesis. So let's write that down. We'll say um, since um, the test statistic, I'll call it Z sub test, is in the critical region. We reject the null hypothesis. And remember what the null was. The null was that initial assumption that the population proportion is actually equal to 0 0.87. So we're saying, if this is truly the population proportion, and we get a test statistic that looks like this, we're going to say that that's significantly low um, when we're taking alpha equals 0 0.10 to be our significance level. Um, so we're going to reject that null hypothesis that the population proportion is 0 0.87. And we can't accept the alternative hypothesis, but we can say that there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that um, the true population proportion is less than 0 0.87. Basically what we're doing is we're saying that if this is true, 
if the true population proportion is 0 0.87, the particular value of the um, sample proportion that we got, the, the one that corresponded to this test, test statistic um, was significantly low. And we're gonna say since it was significantly low, that means it, it corresponds to a low probability. And remember that rare event rule, we reject um, events that correspond to low probabilities. We're assuming that this is true. And then if this happens when this is true, we're gonna say, well, maybe our assumption is wrong. And since we're saying that maybe our assumption is wrong, that's us rejecting the null. And um, that in this case um, provides um, support for this claim that the true population proportion is less than 0 0.87. So let's go to the homework and make sure we answer the question. It says reject the null. So it's one of these guys. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the uh, true population proportion is less than 0.87. And that's that.